Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So right now I'm gonna be doing a flip of my Commit 30. So this is like updated. This is what I'm using for the week. So I thought I would share for all the um, planner girls trying out the Commit 30 planner. So um, it kind of varies week to week what I wanna use. So for now I have like, I think three different planner systems that I can like use, but this is the one I picked for this week because, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I wanted this one for this week. I, I love, um, going back and forth. So I decided to share what I added in here. There's a couple of changes and I need to be making sure this is in frame. So it's like really close to here. Um, Okay, so first of all, one of the changes I added was this notebook to my Commit 30. You just kind of pull it back and you just add it in here and boom, you have a notepad. So I just have like meal plans, uh, to buy list, which I am done with that. Uh, I will recycle that. <laughs> Inserts to buy. And then this is for my website stuff I need to do that I was brainstorming and then kind of like a YouTube idea. So I have about a couple of these notepads that I really like and I think just using them like that is so helpful, especially when I'm like running around the house uh, on the phone or needing to write something down. Okay, so in here I just added Sorry, you guys, I just need to always check this because sometimes I film and I'm never in frame and I have to redo it for like so many times it makes me so annoyed. So I added in a couple of things here, which I like a lot. I have an inbox, oh, oh, sorry. So right here, I use these little stickers to cover the months that have gone by. And then I added this dashboard in, which I made for my personal rings. I made two of them, but I decided, cause I think I wanted to make one for my hobo weeks. And let me see, I'm just gonna go a little, okay, I think that's fine. Um, I tipped this one in and then I added some sticky notes, which is pretty cool. I finally filled out those bubbles, which are kind of personal, but it felt really good to like get into it. Here's my inbox, a uh, freebie from SM Plans that I taped in. And then I went ahead and added a social media tracker, which is a freebie on Canva. So I plan to track YouTube, Instagram, and my website, but when I track my website, I will change it from follower account to like, it's mostly gonna be subscribers and page views, so that changes. I was trying to make it into like a yearly one, but they don't have a yearly one. Um, there's, there's some stuff, but you'd have to buy it. So I was just trying to do it like a freebie. I don't wanna like spend a lot of money right now. I did not fill out January. So January has plenty of free pages where I could paste a printable, you know what I'm saying? So we we love doing that. I know we, this reminds me of Astrology when I started like adding in my stuff. So February has some stuff written in, a bit completed. So here for March, I was gonna show you guys some stuff here. So this is my tracker. I did use it a lot in the month of March. I can't lie that I like having a tracker taped in here. I've always done that in my Stalogy years. So it's like one of my favorite things um, to do. And I taped in one of the pin gear pages because I was backtracking my steps. I'm also trying to really focus on my steps, walking and how much, um, of a workout I'm getting in. And I noticed that towards the end of March was when we were going on a lot of hikes and I was probably getting exhausted. So it's nice to see your your step tracker on paper because then you can kind of see like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm like slacking off. I need to get back into it. So anyways, my commit 30 day, my 30 day challenge for March was social media content creation and growing my website. And clearly I did not do it. <laughs> I tried, but I wrote, I was super busy with my kids and home, but I gave it the best effort I could. Like moms don't really have any downtime. So when they do and like you put it into something, you know that 
you give yourself, like you probably put in 10, one out of, or one to 10, a 10 effort. So I put eight and a half. And yeah, I don't like showing my completed calendar only because it always has web, like address and personal information and stuff. So all of this is, so I'm just kind of flipping through it a little quickly, but still so you can see kind of what I've been doing and adding stickers in and having fun. Um, yeah, so some of those days I was in my rings and then I back planned just to complete the month out. So I decided if I want to use my month a little more, I need to, let me see, there we go. I need to like tip in some things. So I already started using my tracker, always do. I love how simple my tracker is and it's just the most necessary things and that's it. Boom, I'm done. I love that about this freebie. I don't know where I got it, but I think I wrote free habit tracker and this one popped up. So I printed out all of them and I put pasted them in for the rest of the month. This is a freebie from SM Plans I tipped in and I love it. I love ever since I was like in a notebook. I've loved to tip in SM Plans every single month. This reminded me of it, of Astology a lot. And then I went ahead and I tried to do a free step tracker from Canva. It was a huge no-no. Next time, just a piece of paper. This was getting on my nerves, but I cut it down and I still wanted to use it. And that's when I noticed that I am getting tired and I need to get back onto my steps. So hopefully, like, because this weekend we're so busy, hopefully the next one we can get back into um, hiking. So we're, we're just, we've been very busy. So for April, we have slow progress is better than no progress. And my 30 day challenge that I have committed to is 30 days of reading. And look at that. So no, it has not happened. And I believe we're, it's Monday. So I tried so hard to read, but every time I wanted to read that I had to do the dishes, I had to like clean, I had to uh, put away laundry, do laundry. I had to, like my kids wanted to do this, that. They wanted to paint, they wanted to go outside, they wanted to go on a walk, they wanted to go to the playground. <laughs> like they wanted to do everything. So, and they had a three day weekend. So that was like, then it was my husband's birthday. I have not had time to even read. Today, I haven't had time to read and I really wanted to read, but I'm going, after I'm done filming this video, I'm actually going to, eat lunch and then do the dishwasher, clean up the kitchen, probably rest a little bit, hopefully, fingers crossed, read, but I really think I'm gonna be putting away laundry, so yeah. Um, just some things you can't do, and yeah. So this is the next week, this is April. Um, I just finished filling this one out. I was in this planner yesterday, I was not in my rings. And this one is like, I am just obviously in this planner. I have stuff to do for the YouTube video. I have, um, sorry, there's something in my eye. I have my meals planned out. I have stuff I need to clean real quick this week. And then this is like, a lot has to do with my website. It was the list you saw in the pinned gear, but this is more condensed and more to just check off, keep in. And usually I tip in Eva's, my daughter's homework. Here's a little reminder to order yearbook. And I usually have that tipped in, but I'll show you where I keep that. This is for the upcoming week, which is, or the upcoming month, as you can see, it's the habit tracker. So I think I'll be tipping in like my step tracker too, like my steps and um, keeping track of that. Cause I like to look at that. Okay, so going ahead, Let's see, we have, I think I've already shared this, of course, this is my gratitude section. So I have all the months, like my, that was March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November. So I have for the rest of the year, one page for gratitude in the notes section, because it comes with a lot of notes. Then here I have memories. So I already pasted March memories in. So this one's April. I'm, I'm waiting to the end of the month and then I'm gonna like print and paste them. I just feel like I did a lot of photo stuff in March and I kind of just 
don't really want to do a lot in April, I guess you could say. And that I need to clean out like my phone and print some stuff out. And so another idea, something else I added back here was, uh, this is an idea I got from Carrie, I Heart to Plan, a little sticky note thing. Um, I think I just recently saw that in a video, but I love this. So I will link these cute little sticky notes below, but most of these, like you could tell these are from Target. I think this is from a really long time ago, the Dollar Tree. And then of course, you know, your basic sticky notes that all planner girls have piles of is like those color, different colored ones. And um, these I got from Amazon. They're, they really are my favorite. I went through this like sticky note phase with them. These are probably my favorite ones to write on. I don't know why I like polar bears. Anyway, um, so here I just attached what Ella drew for me. And here I have kind of just been... I guess you could say emotionally journaling. So whenever I have like an emotion, like when I'm angry or whether I'm angry or I'm like really happy or I'm so sad, I write about it. So you could really say this captures like your emotions. I'm not really trying to journal because I feel like I feel like I'm past journaling now. I used to journal so much. I I can't even recall like so many years of journaling. I still kind of journal, but I feel like capturing the emotion is way more interesting to read back on versus like, I did this today and we went here. Like, no, um, I prefer pictures for that. And then like just to paste the pictures in here. So this is kind of covering the whole memory keeping thing, which is pretty cool to watch it unfold. Here I have SM Plans, um, beautiful florals that I've printed and I love using in my rings. Like if I could, I would do day on one page on this and I'd be totally happy, which is fine. But I got the rest that I had punched and I'm going to be tipping it in for my week until like school's out for my daughter's homework. So I just went ahead and I tucked them in here along with the emotion journal that's what i'm calling it now and then i have my ouch my receipts in here to scan later um, my highlighter and then my serrazo dry pen or serrazo pen so that's what i'm using for now i did not solve my problem of dailies because <laughs> you know i was trying to solve that problem i am wanting everything i want spot but you know what at the end of the day this has plenty of space i don't want any more to do's <laughs> so i'm exhausted by the end of the day so i don't know why on earth i want more space to write more to do's i don't know what why i even want that so i believe that most of that is wanting to journal and memory keep i really believe that because i know i don't want more to do's my but um also reducing my daily usage of my dailies here has helped me realize, realize that um, it's more about routine. So I've been getting better at like my morning routines, my evening routines, just waking up on time, getting all the chores done and going like in a circle in a circle, which is really cool. So I wanted to share that with you guys. I did use my med tracker in here. I have everything set up here. Everything is set up here and in here and in here. So these three planners, they are set up. I just, um, I just don't use, no, wait, wait, let me take that back. So this one is more set up. This has kind of like every little insert. Okay. So this is way more set up. This is like, um, it's getting there, but I do not have a med tracker in here. I don't have past notes for my daughter's school stuff. I don't have parent-teacher conference notes in here. And I do not have our health stuff. I don't have my husband's health stuff. That is all in this planner because it's so much easier to punch it in versus, um, you know, a separate notebook to carry in here. I don't need that if it's right here. Okay, so that's all, you guys. Um, I just wanted to share a Commit 30 planner update for this week. So this week... This is the week of uh, my daughter's birthday. I'm very, very busy and a little overwhelmed. So I'm busy doing that stuff. 
And this is like the perfect planner for when you're busy and you just need to get the basics out of the way. So I love this planner. Okay, I'm gonna go now and I will film another flip later. Bye you guys.